Good evening and welcome to Back to School Night. So many new families are joining our community this year, and I want to begin tonight by thanking our parents and students for choosing Reardon. Your decision to come to school at Reardon is a sign of hope, a sign of trust, and a sign that you believe Archbishop Reardon High School is the best place for you, your sons, and your daughters. We also welcome back our good and faithful families who are returning to Reardon. You've chosen Reardon because we educate our students in a context of faith and morality. We provide a safe environment and an academically excellent college preparation. We have a family spirit because we educate your sons and daughters for service, justice, and peace because we prepare them to adapt and overcome life's many challenges. We know you've joined us for the many opportunities to learn and grow, and not just in the classroom. Please know our teachers and staff are working really hard to continue offering as many activities as possible. Soon, they'll be taking the fields, they'll be gathering for club meetings, they'll be gracing the stage, They'll be marching with the band, and they'll be having fun together. Until then, we are most appreciative of your patience, your support, and your willingness to adapt to our current challenges, and not simply to make the most of it, but to thrive and encourage Reardon students to reach and exceed their potential. Reardon is a Catholic community of faith and hope, and the more we uplift our community in prayer, the more aligned to God's will we can and will become. Please join me in praying. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mary, do for us what you did for Jesus, our Savior. Guide us to grow strong in wisdom and grace. Give us sight to see the talents God has given us and the will to cultivate them during these years of school. Foster within us Jesus' own vision of who we are and what our earth is meant to be. Instill in us the desire to learn constantly, the goodness to serve generously, and the courage to lead wherever Jesus calls. We pray for these blessings for ourselves and all peoples so that the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit may be glorified in all places through the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tonight is a chance to meet your sons and daughters' new teachers and to hear how they've innovated in providing their lessons, practice work, assessments, and projects in a new manner. Please enjoy. And should we encounter a technical glitch, please be patient. We have computer geniuses in the IT department monitoring the situation. May God's peace be with you. And now, I introduce to you our school leader who has worked constantly to guide Reardon in adapting to our present challenges, overseeing the safety and well-being of our students, teachers, and staff, and leading our teachers in preparing to deliver an excellent education and experience for our students, I give you Principal Tim Reardon. Thanks, Dr. Courier, and thank you all for being with us tonight at the beginning of this strangest of school years. Before we get going, I'd like to thank our teachers for their willingness to effectively pitch both games in a doubleheader today, and of course, for all the work they've done to get prepared for the challenges of the 2020-2021 school year. Every teacher has been certified through Coursera, a 15-hour workshop on uh, strategies for distance learning. Uh, they've also all participated in our own two-week professional development seminar. Uh, I think it would be difficult to find a faculty anywhere more prepared for instruction this year than ours. I'd also like to thank the administrators who helped develop our distance and hybrid plans. Over the course of the past six months, their creativity and work ethic have been truly awe-inspiring. Um, we have many new administrators as well as some folks who have shifted positions, so I want to give you a quick rundown in case you're trying to contact someone for a specific question. Uh, Benny Willers is now our Director of House Activities. 
Janae Morris will be the Associate Director of House Activities, Vanessa Martinez, our new Director of Counseling, Raquel Oliva Gomez will be joining Juan Zimbato in the Dean's Office as a Second Dean of Discipline, Mike O'Brien, former Academic Dean, is now Director of Power School and Professional Development, Danny Curtin remains in charge of admissions, but he's taking on many added responsibilities and his title has changed to Director of Admissions and Strategic Initiatives. Elizabeth Hoyser is our Wellness Director, Stephanie London, RSP Director, Nate Simon, former RSP Director, is now our Dean of Academics. It's a great team and they're uh, working with the teachers and with your kids and all of you to make sure we're successful in all aspects of student life. So without further ado, here is our Academic Dean, Nate Simon. Go Crusaders. Good evening and welcome to Archbishop Reardon High School's first virtual back to school night. My name is Nate Simon. I'm the Academic Dean this year. I'm a graduate of Reardon from 1999 and have been working and directing the RSP for the last 10 years. You just watched a video of students on their first day of school this year. And that video and those pictures look very different than they normally look on the first day of school. But that difference is something that we have been working hard to embrace. We had 10 days of professional development with the teachers before school began. And in those 10 days, that was our theme. This year is going to be different. The world is different. Our students are different. Our classrooms are different, and we need to embrace that difference and be innovative in it so that we can be successful. Our goals haven't changed. We have the same high expectations for the students. We have the same high expectations for ourselves. And we are doing our best so that we can be innovative and do exciting things to continue to meet those goals. Tonight, you're going to get to see some of those innovations and some of the exciting things that teachers are doing in the classrooms in order to support your students in meeting their goals. You're going to be going into four, three to four different Zoom rooms tonight, and there's a video coming up explaining how you're going to access that so that you can see a live presentation from each of the teachers that your students have. We hope that you enjoy your evening, and if you have any questions, you can feel free to email any of us after tonight. Thank you so much. So this is how you're going to access the Zoom links for each of the classes that you'll be attending tonight. The first step is to have your student's schedule in front of you. The way to access your schedule is through your PowerSchool login. Once you log into PowerSchool, the first four classes, the block one, two, and three, four classes that your student has will show up, and those are the classes that you'll be attending and in that order. So block one, if your student has a block one class, you may not have a block one class. And if you don't, then your Zoom session won't start till block two at 645. But if your student does have a block one class, then at 630, you'll go to this document and you'll make sure you're on the block one tab. You'll see that there's tabs at the bottom for each block. In the block one tab, you'll find the name of the teacher and class that your student has in block one and then scroll down to it and you click on the class itself and that will take you to the Zoom session for that teacher. You'll be with that teacher from 6.30 to 6.40 on a Zoom session where they'll be explaining their class and how things work. And then at 6.40, you have a five minute passing period to get to your block two class. The way that you get to your block two class is you come back to this document, which is linked in the email that was sent to you <clears throat> and you find the next tab, which is block two. You click on the block two tab that will take you to all the classes and the zoom links for the courses that are offered during block two so you find the the class that your student has during block two you click on it and it will take you to that zoom session where you'll be for 10 minutes hearing from that teacher then you have another five minute passing period which begins at 655 and then at seven o'clock block three starts so you go back to this document click on the block three tab and find your block three teacher and click on that link. And then finally, you'll do the same thing at 710, come back to this document one more time, click on the block four tab, find your block four teacher, click on that link, and that will take you to the final Zoom session of the evening. And then at 725, you're done and you'll be able to enjoy the rest of your evening.